you know, when you hit new levels in life, not a lot of people's going to be happy for you, Brad. Like, I am the definition of what that feels like. Because I have hit so many different levels in life. There's a certain level you go from like, as a kid, not knowing too much to then gain lots of experience to then, let's say, you get, you take yourself super seriously, you get super fit, you hit that new level, you're a- absolutely a new person whenever you do this. You form a new identity because your body has changed completely. Like, can you imagine just like, picture it like this. You guys have seen videos of those stray dogs, the abandoned dogs, the dogs that's like unhealthy, almost like sick and the way they act whenever someone comes to save them, they try to like bite them and stuff. They have to put like a harness on them and make sure they don't get bit and they take them and they get the dogs healthy again. And then you see like the after videos of when the dogs are now healthy and happy and all this stuff, they're completely different animals. This is what it's like in life when you level up, you will literally form a whole new identity because you have done tremendous work. You have done some serious, serious work. You form a new identity. And I think in life, a lot of people that are even talented and skilled are so afraid of changing their identity. Like they're terrified, bro. They don't want to do it. And that's their downfall. But when you do do it, when you do make some serious changes, your identity will change. And people will start to view you a lot differently, even though you don't really want them to. Like you don't want to get hated on. You you don't want people to start giving you bad energy. It just don't feel the best. But then again, you start to live and you start to learn to take that stuff and use it as fuel. You're not going to let them get you down. It's going it, to, you just, whenever the people look at you like that, it's just like, all right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're just going to slap on yourself and you're, you're going to use that as fuel to push forward because them, they ain't going to get you down. They ain't going to try to guilt you into making you feel bad, gaslighting your mind as if you're doing something wrong when you're doing the right thing things with your life you ain't letting it happen so you ain't being a nice guy and giving everyone what they want oh he wants to see me do bad oh how dare you want to see me do bad nah you motherfucker what up Nate Diaz style stop and slap you ain't having it you have done the work you have earned your stripes you have earned respect and you will be, you will be respected but you'll be hated on too and this is exactly why when you level up you're going to lose friends. You will gain new friends. You will gain new people. People who want to talk that real. And all the other phony Montanas, they're going to fall. And your success is going to bother their insides deeply. I'm telling you, bro. You're going to have friends that you used to talk to quite often. They no longer want to talk to you. They don't want to talk to you no more. They want to try to affect your mind in a negative way. Because your success, your light that shines so bright, it puts them down. It makes them feel bad. And I understand that. You're not succeeding to the levels you want. That should be more motivation for yourself to wake them up. That should get you up. You should thank your friend for becoming more successful. I wish the people around me was becoming more successful. I wish. That is motivating. That is inspiring. And you know what? These are all reasons as to why I will never, ever, ever, ever envy, hate, Be jealous of somebody else's success because I know exactly what it feels like and it's not in me anyways to be that person. When other people are succeeding, 
It's inspiring. It should wake you up more. It should give you clarity. But so many of these filthy animals, bro. We make some progress. We get some success. We do some good things. And they just completely want to shit on on us. And it's like, it's all right when everybody else does it. It's, it's almost like when it comes to us, it's not all right. It's completely insane. And like I said, I know exactly how it feels like for like everybody to go against you. For like no reason at all. And this is exactly why. You are going to lose so many friends. That's why. You see, you see individuals congratulating others, posting them, posting about them, all this other kind of stuff. When it comes to you, they leave you unheard. They leave you unseen. They don't say a damn thing that's good. When there's a lot of things they could say that's good about you, they have nothing good to say. These people are not your friend. They're never your friend. They are a frenemy. And you will lose them on your way to where you're going. Like I said, it's cool and everybody else does it. But when the chosen one does it, no. It's not cool when you do it. Because deep inside, they know that you're better than them. They don't feel like the other people are better. They feel like they, it's possible that they could do what the other people are doing, but when it comes to you, and whenever you do what you do, it's a huge problem because they know they can't do what you did. They can't do what you done. That's why it's a problem. They congratulate other people because they might have graduated university or college or something like this or got a nice job or whatever it is. Yay, congratulations. It could be something else. It could be a promotion. Very possible, very achievable, but when it comes to you, they don't feel a hope in hell. They don't feel a hope in hell. And that's why they're gonna shit on you so hard and it's unfortunate, but it is what it is. And this is why you have to let them motivate you even more because brother, you belong somewhere so much greater than what you even think. Like you belong somewhere much different around much different people than you think. Like the people from your past, bro, they're not it. <laughs> the thing is, we all grow up somewhere. We all grow up around certain people. And we were forced to. That's where we grew up. But things change. Time reveals who one another are, you know? And people start to get the clue that you're cut from a different cloth. And you start to separate yourself because that's what chosen ones do. You will separate yourself. You'll be undeniable, unshakable. And people don't want that for you. And bro, this is why we must want this for everybody else that much more because we know what it feels like for everybody to go against us. I've told this to people many, many times. If people's going against you, if people's hating on you, I'm on your team. I am on your team. I want you to win. I want you to succeed. Because there are human beings alive that you were forced to be around at one point in time. They don't want you to win. We are coming up. They are going down. They're trying to bury us. They're trying to dig our graves. Not going to happen. Not going to happen, bro. I believe in life. I believe in destiny. I believe in things happening for a reason. I believe our lives are already written out. We just have to continue to keep capitalizing. 
and these filthy animals are going down. Because they're trying to put us down. We're going to rise so high to the point where they might change the way they act and behave towards us. Because, oh my God, he's so high up. He's enjoying himself so much. He's not suffering more anymore. Oh my God, what is going on? Let's pretend we're his friend now because now it's cool. Now we don't look so bad if we pretend like we like him now. These are motherfuckers, bro. They're, not, they're still not for you. They're still not with you. They just feel guilty. Because they see other people giving you love now. They see you winning with bigger people than them. They see you winning with higher up people. Now they feel guilty. And this is how it goes. And this is how it always will be. Yeah. And you have to let all this motivate you. This is what I have carried on my back for such a long time in my past. I have carried all that weight for such a long time and things change. Things change for the better. But we don't forget about those times. We don't forget about those people. We don't forget none of it. And we ain't letting nobody off the hook. We ain't letting nobody off the chain easily. Did they take it easy on us? Absolutely not. Are we going to take it easy on them? Absolutely not. No. You ain't getting it easy. You better start to do some next level shit if you want me to even look your way. And now we're arrogant. You see, they always have something to throw against us. Regardless. They just cannot ever just give us that title. That we is him. Or we is her. If you're a female. They can just never give us that title, you know. But you'll see. You'll be forced to get it. You'll be forced to give it. It's just going to fumble out of your mouth. Because we ain't going to stop. We're going to blow the roof off this bitch. And like I said, guys, any of you that have haters, any of you guys that have people going against you, treating you unfairly, treating you unpoorly, I'm on your side. Not these other clowns. Because they, in the end, will be the clowns. We will be declared victory. And some people, bro, it's unfortunate too. Some people that act cool with you all along, you reach a certain level and you're going to see pretty soon that they were never with you the whole damn time. These are these are other low-key little haters. They're never with you. I'm very intuitive. I see things through. I know things. I know things that you don't even know. I know a lot. More than you think. A lot more than you think. And I ain't letting shit slide. This shit to me ain't a game. And I'm not letting the enemy have their way around me. I know what the enemy is like. I know what they do. And I know what I do. There's never one time in my entire life where I, I took it easy on the enemy and they never stabbed me in the back because I did do that. I did, I did make that mistake before. I let somebody else come around me when I shouldn't have. Whenever I already knew they were a red flag. I've given a female a chance before when I knew already she was a red flag because I wanted things to work because I thought there was a shot. You're going to get stabbed in the back yet again. You let some bomb ass run around you again whenever shit hit the fan because you think it might not happen again. Because you were younger at this time, you get stabbed in the back again. And this is why I don't take it easy on people. This is why I don't take it easy on my enemies. It's going to be very hard on you. You're going to have a very hard life whenever it comes to me. You ain't going to have your way with me. You think so? <laughs> you're going to you're gonna know so pretty soon. Because you're not. You think you're going to fool me? You think you're going to act like my friend whenever you're actually not even with me the whole time? 
You think you're going to act like my friend when you're actually against me? You don't want to see me do what I'm supposed to do, what God put me on earth to do? You devil. I feel things, bro. And I know things very, very well. I'm with everybody that puts their best foot forward. I'm with everybody that sees life as an opportunity. You want to do better. You're focused on doing better. You're not like the rest. You're not like the haters. There's no time to hate. There's only time for forwardness movement, for doing better, for making the right decisions for yourself. Life is about decision-making, folks. It's about decision-making. That's what life is about. For all men, for all women, for everybody, even for animals. That leopard, that cheetah thought it was a good idea to sneak down by the lake and start drinking some water. All of a sudden, that crocodile He's coming swimming over very silently, the silent assassin. And he's just pouncing. And he's waiting, 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 coming, 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 coming. And he just goes up, <clears throat> snatches the cheetah. Because the cheetah made a decision to go by the lake to start drinking the water. Wrong move. Got greedy. It could sense danger too, and it still stayed. Bet you regret that one. This is what I'm saying, folks. Life is about decision making. Every decision you make pays a price, either for the for the greater good or for the bad. You gotta start getting rid of liabilities. You gotta start getting rid of these fake ass friends that ain't even with you. That pretend to be with you sometimes, but they're really not because they're low-key jealous. Get away from them. Some people, bro, you were talking, 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 talking. They don't want to talk no more. Guess what? You got a hater on your hands. They're a low-key hater. I don't care what you say. It is what it is. They don't want to talk. They just go quiet. Because the haters fall off. Real ones. They're always going to be there. I'm always here. I'm always on your side. As long as you're walking by faith, as long as you're doing what you're supposed to be doing on a daily basis, and you're not veering off like some hater, being mad at this person for being successful, being mad at this person, and you're not doing what you should be doing, focused on what you're supposed to be focused on, I'm on your side. Because there's a lot of idiots out there, bro. A lot of idiots. And we ain't with them. They're against us. They make it very clear they're against us. They make it clear to me. I know where you stand with me. You don't gotta tell me shit. I already know. I already know. Thank you, God, for the gift, for these intuitive gifts. I see so much. People think they see more, they don't. I see more than you. I'm talking to haters right now. I see way more than you. You, 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 you have no shot. You have no idea. You expose yourself all the time. You have no idea what I know. You have no clue. Bet, bet on it. Clean sweep. And this is why it's pointless to be a hater. Wake yourself up. I don't even want you to be a hater. I don't even want you to live a miserable, pissed life. I want you to wake up and start doing what's right. It starts with you making better decisions. That's what it starts with. Don't be like the cheetah. 
trying to be greedy, licking all the water. Yeah, you're thirsty. You should have got a little bit and then left because you knew there was danger. You shouldn't have stayed around the enemy. The one that will kill you. Literally. Shouldn't have done it. Know your surroundings. Know what's happening. That's what I do. And that's what I'm urging every single one of you to do as well. Know your surroundings. If something is coming into your life to be nothing short of a liability, get rid of it. What's his name? Alex Hormazi or whatever his last name is. He said that in a video recently that inspired me. He said, the second something is a liability or becomes a liability in my life, I instantly drop it. Whether it's a friend, whether it's whatever it might be. Drop it. Because it's a liability. It don't bring you value. Why is it so hard for other human beings to bring us value, but we can so effortlessly and easy give them so much value, insight? Why is it so hard? Because they ain't right in the in head. That's why. You are. They're not. You got your shit straight. They don't. Their heads are in the clouds. And that's why they become haters of yours. Because you got it going. And they ain't got shit to give. They're just taking serpents. Take, 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 take. Because they got nothing. When you do the work, you have so much to give. And that's why you receive so much because you have so much to give. You have to get yourself out of that place of just receiving. You have to give. You have to put yourself in a position to give. If you want to cut hair, you're cutting, you're, you're changing lots of people's lives. You're making them look good. You're contributing to society. You're going to receive. Whatever it might be. This is what you have to do. You will be rewarded for giving. If you want to be a friend of somebody, what could you give that person? How are you a good friend? Are you even fun to be around? Can you go for a drive with your friend and it's going to be fun and adventurous? You're going to have laughs. You're going to have a good time. You're going to go eat at a restaurant and it's going to be fun. It's going to be funny. Memories created. Or are you just an idiot? It's about getting your shit straight. It's about being a human being of value. And this is why when you level up, so many individuals are going to fall out because there's so many walking serpents out there, bro. There's a saying, and I'll end it with this. There's a saying. A person, a friend who has... A friend of many is a friend of none. So if you have a whole bunch of friends and you think you're so, you have all these friends, you, you're a friend of nobody. You have no friends. You don't want a whole bunch of friends, a hundred, a thousand, a whole shitload of people. You want great quality friends because you're a great quality person and you know and what? It takes a long time to become a great quality person. It takes a lot of work. You're focused on yourself. You're focused on gaining value. You have real value that you're gaining because of all the time you're putting into yourself. You're a great friend. You're a great husband. You're a great wife. You're a great mother, a great father. You're a great friend. You're a great brother, a great sister, whatever it is. You are great because that is the time you've put into yourself. That is what you must do. I'm out.